This is the Raspberry Pi 5 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the recommended accessories and how to install all the recommended accessories to get started using the Raspberry Pi 5. I know it's a lot of newbies out there that are just getting into programming and Raspberry Pis and but in today's video I'm going to break it down for you on how to install everything properly. So number one let's start with the recommended accessories that you're going to need to install properly with the Raspberry Pi 5. Number one you're going to need to put, pick up an active cooler. It's only five bucks. You might as well go and pick up the active cooler. It's a very easy install but in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install this properly. This is a micro SD card. Go ahead and pick one of these up. You're going to need a micro SD card 32 gigabytes or higher usually. This one is a 128. It's pretty cheap nowadays so Go ahead and pick up a 64 gigabyte, a 128 gigabyte, but at a minimum, you'll need 32 gigabytes for most operations that you're going to need on the Raspberry Pi 5. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi 5 case. It has everything already set up. This is the official one from Raspberry Pi 5. It actually has the button to power on the Raspberry Pi 5. Obviously, you see it has a USB-C port, but the power that comes out of your iPhone, your Android, or whatever USB-C cables you have coming out, usually half an amp or an amp, you're going to need five amps coming out of that thing. So you're going to need 27 watts and 5 amps. So the official Raspberry Pi 5 power adapters here. Go ahead and pick this up. I think this runs around 12 bucks. You're also going to need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable because most inputs are HDMI. So you're going to need a cable to connect it to whatever monitor that you have. So go ahead and pick up a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. You're also going to need any keyboard and mouse. Now Raspberry Pi does have an official keyboard and mouse, which I don't recommend. But if you have a USB keyboard and mouse laying around, go ahead and use that. Or go ahead and pick up any USB keyboard and mouse to plug into the USB slot. So in today's video, we're going to be assembling everything properly for the Raspberry Pi 5 and we'll start with the active cooling. Let's go. Okay the first thing we're going to do is take this little cap off the fan input on the Raspberry Pi 5. You'll see on the motherboard of the Raspberry Pi 5 it has the word fan here which is what this input is going to go but that's going to be the last step because first we're going to turn this over and there are thermal pads here and this thermal pad will be connected directly to the processor this thermal pad will be connected directly to the power management and this thermal pad will be connected directly to the Wi-Fi and, and the Bluetooth chip obviously we need to take this piece of paper off here so we're going to take that off and then we're going to stick it directly on those pieces lining up the holes here so once we line these holes up we're going to see that it should go straight through on the back here so we're going to push down here so it's lined up so we're going to push this down here and then we're going to take this one and push it down here there you go so that connected everything down smoothly so now everything is connected properly outside of now we got to connect the power to the fan by connecting it to this fan and input power port here and there we go so let's turn this over. You'll see now that it is connected on the back side. It, the push pin was pushed through the motherboard and now it's locked in place. Now it's time to attach the Raspberry Pi 5 with the active cooling device attached properly. Now we need to take this one off because we can't use both of these. And so we're going to take this apart like so here. We're just going to take it apart and there's going to be little tabs here that we're going to pu pull down here for this one and this one that way we don't break anything and then it'll just slide out all we need to do to attach it to the case we have the power button here we see the power button here on this side so we're going to angle it in so when we come in we're going to angle it in down and it'll sit down that's the only way to get it in snug you see it won't go anywhere so as you see here there's the power button now as you see you see the uh, power port here you see the two HDMI slots now since I only have one monitor and one cord, I'm only going to plug it into this port here. Now all we have to do is attach this top piece here that does, with the fan removed. So we'll attach that like so. And as you see here, we can, it goes this way. We can snap everything in. Everything snaps in. You'll be able to see the USB 3.0 ports now. The, they're in blue. You'll see the USB 2.0 ports. This is where we're going to plug the keyboard and mouse. And then you'll see the Ethernet port as well as where you can see the power button right there. There's two more steps that we'll need to do, which is one, we'll attach the rubber feet here. The last thing we'll need to do is flash the operating system on the micro SD card and we'll, play, we'll put it in like so. Remember, we want to use this port for power and we'll co connect the HDMI monitor here with the HDMI micro cable here that goes to HDMI to the monitor. 
All right, so remember, we're connecting the keyboard and the mouse to the black one. So I'm gonna put the mouse there and the keyboard there. I'm gonna do the micro HDMI here into the middle slot here. And the last thing we need to do is the power and it should pop right on. There's a green light here. Let's see if it automatically cuts on or do we need to press the button? There we go, it automatically cut on and there we go. Raspberry Pi. If you found this video helpful, like the video, but please leave a comment if you want to say thank you or tell me your experiences you had with the Raspberry Pi 5, what was confusing. I'd love to read about it in the comments. And if you need help with anything, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, flashing the operating system is a totally separate video, so I didn't want to include that on here, but I will have it in the description. I want to create a video that any noob could follow because there's a big disconnect between people who don't know anything about programming, barely heard about Raspberry Pi 5, but want to take advantage of the awesome capabilities of these Linux based operating systems like Raspberry Pi 5 that allow people to do all these amazing things like the smart home automations. Uh, I'm using it as a similar to a VPN, but it's called a zero trust. And so I'll have videos on that and I'll have links to that in the description if you want to learn more. But if you found it helpful, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That's how you thank me. But definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think.